Good afternoon, dear friends. Uh, we today will uh, continue our webinars uh, concerning on drug safety, uh, clinical uh, pharmacovigilance topics. It's very actual topics and uh, I want to make some announce that uh, I'm going to start to um, write uh, book for pharmacovigilance uh, students for pharmacovigilance specialists, medical doctors and pharmacists and uh, it will be a new wave of development of pharmacovigilance in Ukraine, CIS country and Europe too because uh, majority of problem and we will see it um, very related with knowledge of clinical pharmacology with internal disease and uh, we uh, will pay attention and um, we will think about it how make it uh, um, this knowledge uh, combine it because uh, what now going on uh, that uh, every day uh, we can see new knowledge and how combine it and how to provide this knowledge for medical doctors and I see it is as my task too because uh, <clears throat> my dear friends that pharmaceutical industry uh, the pharmaceutical industry uh, has more development knowledge right now than even uh, medical doctors and pharmacists and our task it provides this knowledge for medical doctors and update it and pay attention for example that um, uh, Prague committee uh, committee uh, now has many many uh, new knowledge too and new updated risks and it's reflected in uh, uh, safety man uh, safety Mm, SMPC uh, and uh, this new knowledge with updated risk you can find in uh, medicine or UK site and uh, many new sites too. Uh, what about drug interaction? Why it's important? Because we will see that uh, drug interaction uh, can <coughs> be a result as a beneficial for patient and harmful too. And our task um, divided uh, to find reasons of what can be reason of adverse reaction and afterwards to develop risk minimization measure as well. Uh, for our new participant, I would like to uh, introduce myself. My name is Galina Cordero. I am a qualified person of pharmacovigilance, head of pharmacovigilance department, a clinical expert with, with clinical experience and experience working as a uh, therapy physician in hospital too. Uh, now uh, the season is spring and uh, everybody we have uh, new dreams and uh, one of my dreams make uh, treatment and prescribing drugs more safety for patients. When we're talking about uh, drug interaction, I would like to pay attention that it can be lead to several side effects and it is important to be aware of potential interaction to reduce the risk of harmful uh, effects. Uh, we now live in the 21st century uh, in time when and artificial intellect and uh, another tools can be useful uh, for pharmacovigilance uh, at least two. And one of them is uh, drug, uh, drug interaction checkers and I will reflect it in my uh, webinars and my lecture too. Uh, what now important to understand the drug interaction will be actual problems uh, because uh, every year we can see new medicines in the market and uh, uh, according to it you should understand 
that every medicine can be effective uh, but uh, not safety and the question is why uh, because uh, uh, medication errors because pharmacogenetic problems because drug interaction as well uh, can be a reason of uh, serious even unexpected drug reaction too and this knowledge should be updated regularly and our task who involved in the pharmacovigilance field including medical doctors and pharmacists to update this knowledge and provide this knowledge uh, in medical uh, for medical students and for pharmacists too. For example, in Ukraine now uh, we have situations that pharmacovigilance will be new specialty and it can be included in education program uh, as a um, uh, separate specialty as a professional of pharmacovigilance. And this knowledge will be very important for clinical pharmacologists, clinical pharmacists, it can be pharmacovigilance uh, pharmacovigil specialists, medical doctors, pharmacists, and uh, every, every um, uh, this category should uh, uh, understand uh, typical uh, problems and understand uh, the safety of drugs, and understand that uh, target of this problem will be patients and our task make uh, uh, safety of patient because of uh, and minimize the risk because of these uh, uh, problems. <clears throat> drug interaction. If you are talking about drug interaction, it is prudent to consider the possibility of drug interaction whenever two or more drugs are prescribed to a patient or any drug is added what the patient is already uh, taken. Drug interaction uh, as a definition is defined as a pharmacological activity of one drug is altered by the concomitant use of another drug or by the presence of some other substance. The modification is mostly quantitative uh, as a response is either increased or decreases in intensity. But sometimes it's qualitative and abnormal or a different type of response is produced. The possibility of drug interaction arises whenever the patient concurrently receives more than one drug and the change chances increase with the number of drugs taken. I would like to pay your attention, my dear colleagues, that uh, in this lecture I will pay attention, I will describe uh, general aspects of drug interaction and afterwards it will be course of uh, um, lectures uh, concerning on uh, exactly problem with uh, drug interaction between groups, groups and for example interesting vaccine and drug interaction, uh, food and drug interaction, lenses and drug interaction, uh, devices, medical devices and drug interaction. Why it's important? Because sometimes when you don't uh, you, when you don't pay attention as healthcare professional on this problem uh, you never will find reason of adverse event easily to uh, when we're talking about types of drug interaction uh, it's divided on drug drug interaction drug food interaction chemical drug interaction drug laboratory test interaction and drug disease interaction and uh, I think that in future we will conduct, uh, it will be not just recording my lectures, but it will be um, lectures online when you, everybody can ask questions, uh, uh, receive answer, plus uh, case narrative. Because uh, what I see now, I conducted a webinar for CIS country, Ukraine, Moldova, Uzbekistan and other countries as uh, Poland, Slovakia 
and European Union country, Litva and uh, different country, uh, everybody has same problem and uh, uh, because of updated knowledge. And what I see right now, it's very important to divide knowledge of pharmacovigilance as a clinical pharmacovigilance, regulatory pharmacovigilance, pharmacovigilance and clinical trials will, be, will combine knowledge um, this will combine knowledge DCP and GVP, plus it's uh, interesting combining knowledge auditing system of pharmacovigilance because uh, uh, every special can meet this um, in pharmaceutical uh, industry as an important uh, uh, condition of uh, successful development and uh, uh, pharmacovigilance system uh, as uh, of um, marketing authorization holder. Too many thinking in my mind and uh, how do it, I think I will reflect its books, it will serial of uh, book for medical students, for different for pharmacies plus pharmaceutical industry because um, and it's combining uh, uh, all knowledge as well uh, for pharm uh, pharmacovigilance specialists because when we see divided knowledge it's uh, uh, right now to cover it not just post authorization period yes and uh, it's um, co cover it knowledge for uh, and uh, uh, toxicology we will see it in previous lectures like cardiotoxicity, hepatoxicity, nephrotoxicity and many problems I uh, will be very happy if you will subscribe on my channel because I'm working for you and I want to share my knowledge with you uh, because it's, I think that we're working in one field and we have one task again it's safety of patient. When we're talking about uh, factors and we will talk about uh, factors predeposing factors, uh, drug interaction and uh, adverse events too. It's uh, divided as well extrinsic and intrinsic factors and when we're talking about extrinsic, internal, as, well as I can say factors uh, of drug interactions, uh, it's environment, it's smoking diet, it's alcohol use, others, regulatory and medical practice. Intrinsic uh, age, race, organ dysfunction, disease, pregnancy, lactation, gender, genetics and other factors uh, play roles. And these factors reflected in PBPK model components and we see that uh, it's uh, reflected uh, as a system company drug independent on lung, rapidly perfused organ, slowly perfused organ, kidney, liver, intestines, and uh, metabolism, PKPD and more, metabolism active, transport, passive diffusion, protein binded, drug-drug interaction, receptor binded, and uh, you should predict, learn and confirm it in this uh, model too. This knowledge you see uh, important not just on posterization period but in bioequivalency, bioavailability of uh, all medical drugs as uh, pharmacokinetic, uh, ph uh, pharmacokinetic interaction too and uh, we will talk about in this webinars too. Factors contributing to drug interaction is multiplied drug therapy and uh, polypharmacy now very important problem because uh, every medical doctor uh, uh, prescribe treatment, prescribe drugs, medicines according to disease. For example, the gastroenterologist prescribe for treatment for gastric disease, for example, for ulcerative disease of gastric or, or intestine, but uh, um, patient can have many disease and as a problem uh, appear from this situation it will be uh, multiplied drug therapy, polypharmacy and drug-drug interaction can be reason of ad adverse uh, reaction too. Multiply prescribers 
Multi-pharmacology effect of drug, uh, including I can pay attention on class-specific effects. Multiply disease predisposing illness, poor patient compliance, advanced age of patient, and uh, exactly drug-related factors. Drug interaction risk factors is patient factors, number of medication, polypharmacy gain, severity of the disease uh, being treated, age, the very young and elderly, renal and hepatic dysfunction, it's special population and uh, because of this dysfunction will be different metabolism uh, of drugs. Uh, we remember about the Tachrom 450 and stage pharmacokinetic uh, its renal elimination as, as one of uh, way of elimination. Acute medical condition, dehydration, infection and pharmacogenetics. Concerning pharmacogenetics, I um, uh, I interested in this topic and uh, it will be another lecture from genetics and adverse effects. Uh, it will be very interesting, I hope, for everybody um, from my audience. Drug interaction risk factors. Drug, uh, it's drug factors, higher dose, narrow therapeutic range, uh, for example, uh, dioxin or nesteroid. Uh, anti-inflammation drugs, anticoagulant, hypoglycemics, antiarrhythmic, anticonvulsant, antibiotics, and antiretrovirals. And uh, you should uh, pay attention on it too. And drug interaction risk factors are the consideration. It's increase in use of prescription drugs. Increasing complexity of medication regimens, fragmented healthcare system, incomplete problems of med medical lists, multiply prescribers managing, multiplying pharmacy dispenses, and self medication with OTC and herbals too. Uh, drug uh, uh, likely induce interaction, precipitation drug. Uh, highly bound of plasma protein used for long term, enzyme inducers of inhibitors, uh, and two drugs simultaneously given for same disease. Uh, as from my clinical experience, I met situation, for example, that uh, it's um, can be situation when, for example, two different uh, names of drugs, but uh, still one active substance. And uh, I, I met from my experience this medication arose to the society. Causes of unwanted drug effects and interaction. It's concerning on um, uh, articles Deutsches Arts Blood International, it's wrong choice of drug, failing to take account of renal function, wrong dosage, wrong road of administration, and errors in taking the drug and transmission errors. Drugs more likely to be involved in drug interaction. Uh, we pay attention more directly. It's with narrow therapeutic index low safety margin, it's uh, when we're talking about aminoglycosides, digitalis and lithium. Affecting vital physiology uh, of affecting uh, vital physiology of the body, antihypertensive drugs, anti-diabetic drugs, Anticoagulants. With higher plasma protein binded capacity, it's nesteroid and anti inflammatory drugs, warfarin, uh, sulfonylureas, and uh, uh, last group, it's metabolized by zero or the kinetics or saturation kinetics, and it's phenotain and theophylline. Drugs likely induce interaction, object drugs, again narrow therapeutic index and zero order kinetics. Drug interaction can result in increasing effect, additive or synergetic effect, increase the therapeutic effect of good, uh, increase the toxic or 
or adverse effect bad, decreased effect antagonistic effect, decreased therapeutic effect bad, a decreased toxic effect good. What this means that uh, it can be harmful or beneficial effect and you should understand it too. Drug interaction uh, as well um, can be harmful, toxic reduced efficacy and maybe beneficial it's energetic uh, combinations uh, or pharmacokinetic boosting increasing convenience uh, and this pharmacological or clinical response uh, will be um, divided and you should all time understand it or remember it why for example um, as a, as a, we uh, can say about many examples of uh, beneficial and uh, as well as drug interaction usually result in other reactions and some cases and can be proved beneficial. Examples include uh, includes, uh, uh, pharmacodynamic synergy between diuretic and uh, ICA inhibitors and antihypertensive drugs in the treatment of hypertension and reversal or opioid toxicity, for example, by naloxone. Uh, every drug interaction is can be harmful? No, no, answer no, but uh, majority cases it can be, but not in all cases. When it can be uh, again beneficial, uh, it's several drug interactions are deliberately employed in therapeutics, Again, I say inhibitors and diuretics to treat hypertension. Uh, again, another example is sulfamethoxazole and trimetoprim to treat bacterial infection, ophorosamid and amylarid to prevent hypokalemia. Uh, another example of beneficial drug interaction is sequinavir etonavir. Uh, because saquonavir poorly absorbed and TID dosing high pill burden. Combination with ritonavir results in 20-fold increase in uh, CPSS and allow for BID dosing and decreasing doses from 1,800 uh, mg TID to 1,000 uh, mg BID. Uh, one, if we, we see that uh, QD, it will be equivalent to 1,600, it's also possible. Ciclosporin and ketoconazole can uh, be beneficial drug interaction and difficult to determine doses to large interpatient variability in uh, cytochrome 3.8. Uh, and uh, uh, p glycoprotein activity too. Consequences of drug interaction, uh, it can be loss on therapeutic effect, it can be increased toxicity, it's unexpected increases additive potential intended or antagonism unintended, Chemical or physical interaction, uh, incompatibility on in fluid or syringes mixture. Drug uh, drug interaction can increase toxicity. Yes, it can be increased toxicity and increasing the plasma concentration of primary drug, for example, by cimetidine will automatically and consequently increase the probab uh, probability or increase the toxicity of the drugs. However, this may not always occur and if it does not then the dose sparring effect of the primary drug will have both a clinical and cause advantage. There could therefore be much advantage in searching for a chemical substance which will be reversibly inhibit the uh, P-cytochrome 450 oxidase systems with the, without itself having a distinct pharmacological or toxicological action. Drug-drug uh, interaction including and are important subgroup of adverse events which are highly prevalent in patients receiving multiplied drug treatment. 
Drug-drug interaction may lead to several adverse events which can result in patient hospitalization. Some studies have estimated that up to around approximately 3% of hospital admission are caused of drug-drug interaction. It's a lot to know. It's 3% uh, who had risks for health. Estimated about incidence of drug-drug interaction is different countries vary from 6% uh, uh, to 70% uh, stage due to variability in methodology and settings. 20% of hospitalized patients were susceptible to drug-drug interaction evidence was higher in patients with heart disease elderly patients and about one sort of cancer patients. Uh, this uh, figure show us um, majority case at, uh, drug interaction for example as example in uh, cancer therapy it's um, from Nature Review Cancer um, magazine and it can be oral administration, a blood brain barrier, and it's very important for, for example, narcosis drugs, uh, blood brain barrier, and uh, we will talk about it too. Metabolism in the liver by cytochrome's potential site of drug interaction, and you don't for, uh, forget about pharmacogenetics availability of these cytochrome systems and we see it stomach absorption and the good depends on the presence of absence of food and role of uh, changing of uh, pH 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 it's uh, different for example hyperacidity or hypoacidity conditions too and kidney uh, in this uh, uh, and drug will be act differently can be too and drug drug interaction will be increases effect too excretion in the kidney potential site for interaction with transporter and proteins and uh, it's important stage of elimination excretion and intestine uh, absorption stage uh, or elimination is can be different uh, um, level of two mechanism of drug interaction uh, it's a uh, uh, three important mechanism it's pharmaceutical interaction during dosage from preparation or at time of administration dissolving the drug is solvent mixing drug in powder solution or injection forms Pharmacokinetic, its absorption, complex of halide formation, altered stomach pH, ionization, GIT motility, first pass metabolism, distribution, uh, protein binding, metabolism, enzyme induction inhibition, excretion, altered, uh, altered pH, lanulization, enterohepatic recirculation, and pharmacodynamic at receptor or tissue level. Pharmaceutical interaction incompatibility, uh, when we're talking about uh, physical chemical interactions that occurs when drugs are mixed and infusion causes precipitation or inactivation of active principles. Example, it can be ampicillin, chlorpropazine, barbiturate is interact with dextran in solution and are broken down or from chemical compounds. The pharmaceutical interaction incompatibility. Drugs can react phys physically or chemically with each other be before they administrate administer it to the patient or in case of oral preparation before they are absorbed. Mix it of drug before parental administration may cause interaction and thereby and significantly decrease the activity one or both drugs. Chemical interaction are very unlikely to occur once drugs reach this 
systemic circulation because the concentration in plasma are low. Example can be oral tetracycline helates, uh, the cautions, uh, the cations, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, or iron resulting in a a cationotetracycline complex that cannot be absorbed. Also, cholesteramine and cholestipol bind some anionic drugs and decrease their absorption. Prevention of pharmaceutical interactional is do not add infusion uh, solution. Avoid mixing of drugs in the same infusion and mix the drugs thoroughly in the infusion, use a separately infusion in drug administering simultaneously. And it's an important measure and you should remember uh, it can be caused some medication errors on the stage and because of adverse reaction and uh, medical nurses should know it drug-drug uh, interaction chemical and there is special tables and if uh, for example it will be needs if you will have needs I can reflect it in future lectures when we will talk it about uh, uh, interaction between classes of drugs and uh, this uh, case narrative uh, um, examples. Pharmacokinetics drug-drug interaction. Pharmacokinetic drug-drug interaction can induce or inhibit drug metabolism or influence absorption. For example, cytochrome 450 enzyme inhibition, absorption interaction, distribution interaction, metabolism interaction and excretion interaction. A pharmacokinetic interaction is chemical interaction. Interaction affected oral availability, protein binded interaction, interaction due to altered biotransformation, interaction due to altered renal excretion. In review, the patient history considers the following characteristic in relation to drug pharmacokinetic. You should pay attention on age. Most drugs were studied in adult patients and recommended as ages may vary, uh, vary in different age group. Uh, pay attention on sex. Also, that are limited male and female patients can metabolize and eliminate drugs differently, so the optimal drug dosage may differ. Weight. For patients who are obese or cacteric, changing in drug clearance or volume of distribution often necessitate dosage adjustment. Diseases conditions. Three conditions that must be approached with special caution when prescribing any drug uh, are heart failure and renal disease and hepatic failure. And this is important too. Genetics. Pharmacogenomics is a study of the relationship of genetic and drug metabolism of adverse reaction. In the systematic review, for example, by Philips and colleagues, 27 drugs known are too frequently, it can be 59% were known to be influenced by individual patient genetic characteristics. As you remember, it can be different lectures. Chemical interaction. Drug can react physically or chemically, and we, uh, we talked about it. Just pay your attention again that it's uh, very important for nurses. Mechanism of chemical interaction. It can be uh, be a transformation, distribution, absorption, excretion. If we were talking about pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamics, non-receptor, receptor, and classification of chemical interaction can be additive, synergistic, pot uh, potential, antagonistic, which can be functional, chemical dispositional and receptor and you show this classification it's very easy to understand in this way in which level can be drug drug interaction interaction factor oral avail availability this can be divided into interaction affected the hostric emptying drug absorption and pre-systemic elimination 
gastric emptying. Gastric emptying rate of gastric emptying is important when a rapid onset or effect of the drug is desired in rapid relief, e.g. from pain or onset of sedation is needed and parental drug administration is not possible. Slow with gastric emptying occurs in food, recombency, autonomic neuropathy, heavy exercise, drugs, antacids, anticholinergic drugs and narcotics. Enhanced gastric empty cures, drug administration or metoclopramid, tizapreed, domperidone. This result in early and higher peak concentration in the index drugs. In the stage of drug absorption, most drugs are absorbed in the small intestine by passive diffusion. Some drugs, oral neminicin, antiplastic drugs, can dim damage the intestinal absorptive surface and potentially result in decreasing absorption of other drugs, especially those which drug absorption is incomplete. As example, inhibition of absorption, drug binding GIT, iron may chelate ciprofloxacin resulting in decreasing absorption. GI motility, increasing GI motility caused by metoclopramid may decrease cefaprozil absorption. GI and pH, GI alkalinization but omeprazole may decrease absorption of ketoconazole. And for example, in this uh, pay, uh, as example, uh, it can be patient with two diseases. One, for example, um, it's a gastric ulcerative disease, and another it's fungus disease, which can be, uh, which can help patients. Very important to understand how many diseases has this patient, and what kind of group uh, uh, have been describing, uh, has been describing these groups of drugs. For example, omeprazole, like. Uh, um, drugs of, uh, for um, gastric problems or fungus problems. GI flora, decrease the GI bacterial flora caused by antibiotic administration called decreased bacterial production of vitamin K, augmenting the anticoagulant effect of warfarin. Presystemic pre elimination is stage when drug has the capacity to be absorbed metabolized or extracted during transit across the intestinal epithelium into the portal circulation and during the first pass through the liver. This phenomenon is called presystemic elimination of first pass effect. This drug subject to significant presystemic elimination and consequently low bioavailability include propranolol, metaprololol, chlorpropazine, labetalolol, amitriptyline, imipramine, feldipine and morphine. These drugs can complete with each hands increases each other's bioavailability of chlorpromazine and propranolol. It can, you should uh, remember it too. In this way, absorption interaction, uh, its complexation and absorption alteration again, GIPH, alteration in good motility, inhibition of GI enzyme. Enzymes, alteration of micro flora of GI, animal absorption syndrome uh, 2. Uh, absorption, insoluble and poorly absorbed complexes in the good. Example can be tetracyclines and calcium iron uh, salts, antacids, or sucralfate. Phenation absorption is decreased by sucralfate. Minimize or administer the two drugs with a gap of, of two three hours. Alteration of enterohepatic red circulation. It can be antibiotic like tetracycline broad spectrum, markedly reduce good flora that normally reconjugates oral contraceptive steroids secreted in the bile as a glucuronides and permit the enterohepatic recirculation. Contraceptive failure when concurrent use of antibiotic due to lowering of the contraceptive blood 
level. Absorption of an orally administered drug can be affected by other concurrently ingested drugs. This is mostly due to formation in unsoluble and poorly absorbed complex in the gut lumen, as secured between tetracyclines and calcium, iron, salt, antacids, or Sucralfate. Phenation absorption is decreased by sucralfate due to binded in the, for example, lumen. Can be absorption interaction can be minimized by administering the two drugs with a gap of uh, two three hours, so they do not come in contact with each other. For example, ketoconazole absorption is reduced by AIH2 blockers and proton pump inhibitors. Uh, we talked about this uh, interaction. Antibiotics like ampicillin, uh, tetracyclines, contramoxazole, markedly reduce good flora that normally deconjugate oral contraceptive steroids. Alteration of good motility by atropinic drugs, tricyclic antidepressants, opioids, uh, and prokinetic drugs like, for example, metaclopramide or cisapride can also affect drug uh, absorption. Stage of distribution. Primarily, due to displacement of one drug from its binding sites on plasma protein by another of drugs. Drugs highly bound to plasma proteins, they have relatively small volume of distribution like oral anticoagulants, sulfonylureas, certain nesteroid uh, uh, anti-inflammatory drugs and anti-epileptic are particularly liable of displacement interaction. The drug with the unbound form is active while portion which is in bound form works in temporary storage. When the drug is displaced, or the other drug of chemical, the unbought form of inactive drugs become more uh, leading to toxic level in the blood and presented as a toxic. Distribution interaction are those where the distribution pattern of the object drug is altered and the major mechanism of distribution interaction alteration the protein drug binded to. Interaction involved drug distribution are primary due displacement of one drug from its binded site on plasma proteins but in other uh, drugs. Drugs highly bound to plasma proteins they have a relatively small volume of distribution like oral anticoagulants, sulfonylureas, certain steroid. Uh, Anti-inflammation drugs and anti-epileptic are particularly liable to displacement interaction. Another requirement is that the displacement drugs should bind to the same sites on the plasma proteins with the higher affinity. Displacement of bound drug will initially rise the concentration of the free and active form of the drug in plasma that may result in toxicity. However, such effects are usually brief because the free form rapidly gets distributed, metabolized and excreted, so the steady state level are only marginally elevated. The clinical outcome of displaced interaction is generally significant only when displacement extends to tissue binded site as well or is accompanied by inhibition of metabolism and or excretion. In this way, metabolism interaction can be divided in the induction, increased rate of metabolism, and the inhibition, decreased rate of metabolism. Metabolism, certain drugs reduce or enhance, or enhance the rate of metabolism of other drugs and affect the bioavailability. Inhibition of drug metabolism may be due to competition for the same. For example, the tachrom uh, 450 is either enzyme or cofactor and attains clinical significance mostly for drugs that are, that are metabolized but saturation kinetics. Certain drugs reduce or enhance the rate of metabolism of other drugs. They may solve affect the bioavailability if the drug undergoes 
extensive first part metabolism in liver and the plasma half life of the drugs if the drug is primarily eliminated by metabolism. Inhibition of drug metabolism may be due to competition for the same cytochrome uh, 450 is an enzyme or cofactor, for example, the macrolide antibiotics, and uh, uh, azole antifungals, holoramphenicol, uh, omeprazole, CCRIC, HIVAL-protease inhibitor, cimetidine, ciprofloxacin, metronidazole, and uh, some important inhibitor or metabolism of multiplied drugs. Risk of statin-induced myopathy is increasing by fibrates, niacin, erythromycin, azole, antifungals, and HIV protease inhibitors, probably due to inhibition of statin metabolism. A number of drugs induce microsomal drug metabolizing enzymes and enhance their transformation of several drugs, including their own in many cases. Induction involves gen-mediated increased synthesis of certain cytochrome 5 450 is enzymes takes one to weeks of medication with the inducer to produce maximal effect. For example, it can be barbiturates, phenotione, carbazepine, rifampine, cigarette smoking, chronic alcoholism, and certain pollutants are important microsomal enzyme inducers too. You can see a major human cytochrome 450 isoforms. You see that it can be different isoforms if you remember it. For example, uh, what kind of uh, question you should when you talking about cytochrome 400 inhibition K question? What is the toxin potential, the therapeutic index of substrate? For example, terfenadine or dioxine or sertraline. What is the other pathways involving in the metabolism of the substrate? Zolpidem, triazolam. Does the substrate have active metabolites, for example, codeine and morphine? And uh, you see examples, and uh, for example, antidepressant Prozac uh, is included in this group too. Single dose or IDV before the after venfloxine. Venfloxine uh, can in those uh, be ID 750, seven, uh, uh, 75 uh, milligrams titrated over nine days. White variability of IDV concentration 2 PTC with uh, 2 PTC with increased levels and 28 mL uh, will be with a normal variability of the drug. And if the zone, sir, zone, 1 PT on if the zone. You see it and you should remember too. Predicting drug interaction uses cytochrome um, phenotypes, PRO plus, uh, plus uh, potative inhibitor or inducer, measure PRO plus minus metabolites concentration, rate of metabolites parent compound, examples of cytochrome uh, probes. And you see, for example, cytochrome 1A2 is caffeine, cytochrome 2CD, uh, tulbutamine, warfarin plus uh, vitamin K, cytochrome uh, 2CI9 is methanetine, omeprazole, cytochrome 2AI, chloroxazone, cytochrome uh, 2D6, dextrometorphan, debrisoquine, spatiline, Cytochrome A45 is midazolam, and cytochrome 3A4 erythromycin. Some important inhibitors of metabolism, it can be multiplied drugs, macrolide antibiotic, azole, antifungal, uh, chloramphenicol, omeprazole, CCRIC drugs, uh, HIV protease inhibitor, cimetidine, uh, quinolones, uh, including ciprofloxacin, metronidazole. Risk of statin induced again with myopathy is increased by fibrates, niacin, intramycin, azole due to inhibition of statin metabolism. Induction involves generally immediate increase the synthesis of certain uh, uh, cytochrome uh, 450 is enzyme. It takes one, two 
weeks and I pay attention again on medication with inducer to produce maximum effect. Effects regressed gradually over one three weeks after discontinuation of uh, the induce, inducer. In stance of failure of antimicrobial syrup with metronidazole, the cyclin or chlorophanicol have occurred in patients who are on long term medication with inducing drug. Contraceptive failure and loss of therapeutic effect of many other drugs have occurred due to enzyme induction patient taking rifampicin. Toxic dose of paracetamol is lower in chronic alcoholics and those who enzyme induced medication because one of the metabolites of paracetamol is responsible for its overdose hepatoxicity. Excretion interaction. Alteration in renal blood flow, alteration of urine pH, competition of active secretion and forced diuresis. Excretion, excretion interaction involved in excretion are important mostly in case of drug actively secreted by tubular transport mechanism, probenicid inhibits as, as example, uh, tubular secretion, tubular secretion of penicillins and cephalosporins and prolongs their plasma uh, in gonorrhea. Aspirin blocks the ur urisa Urisa, uh, uricosuric action of probenicid and decreased tubular secretion of metotrexate. Changing the pH of urine can also affect excretion of weekly acid or weekly basic drugs. This has been utilized in the treatment on poison too. Don't forget about p protein and is transported found in the liver, intestine, kidney, and brain. p protein acts as a FOX pump to pump toxic materials out of the cell. Example, dioxin, a PGP substrate. Quinidine is a PGP inhibitor. It inhibits expulsion of dioxin back into intestine, so increase dioxin concentration. Rifampicin stimulates RGP and uh, PGP and so decreases serum dioxin. In the kidney, there are similar effects in PGP enhancing clearance of substances. Quinidine and cyclosporine inhibit PGP, so clearance of dioxin is inhib inhibited. In the CNS, PGP inhibits the P passage of some medicine across the blood train burial, for example, loperamid. And PGP inhibitor allows greater passage across the blood brain barrier too. Exams you see it's enough big amount of drugs you should remember. See it's emetriptyline, atorvastatin, azitromycin, carvedilol, colchicin, cyclosporine, dexamethasone, dioxin, erythromycin, etilostradiol. Liburid, amidaron, claritramycin, cyclosporin, diltiazem, felodipine, indonavir, etraconazol, kenoconazol, nicardipine, quinidine, retonavaril, seralimos, verapamil, rifampine, carbazepine, and uh, Santa Jones Ward too. We now uh, discusses it and I reflected to uh, you in my uh, lectures this knowledge about concerning pharmacokinetic um, interaction and uh, another part uh, will be concerned pharmacodynamic drug interaction and how uh, prevent drug interaction how manage uh, drug interaction adverse events minimizes this risk Dear colleagues, subscribe on my channel. I will be happy if you will do it because I think it will improve our knowledge in this field and uh, we will be uh, get success uh, in safety of patients. I wish you uh, everybody good luck. I see you later. Bye-bye.